Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park is excited to announce the return of the Butterflies Are Blooming exhibit. Now in its 29th year, the largest temporary tropical butterfly exhibition in the United States. It showcases over 60 species from Africa, Asia, Central and South America. Visitors can marvel at the stunning diversity and intricate beauty of butterflies and moths in the lush environment of the Lena Meyer Tropical Conservatory. Now, the exhibition offers insights into the fascinating science behind these creatures, like their cold-blooded nature and unique flight mechanisms. And you can, of course, get up close and personal, get those experiences at the feeding stations or the observation station. This year's exhibit runs from March 1st to April 30th. And a huge national honor going out to Muskegon's football coach, Shane Fairfield. He's one of the Don Shula High School Coaches of the Year. High school coaches are nominated by teams from the two NFL conferences, and this year Muskegon's football coach Fairfield was a winner. The NFL awards coaches who best represent character, integrity, leadership, dedication to the community, commitment to player protection, and, of course, that on-field success. The Lions nominated Fairfield, who led Muskegon past Warren, uh, Warren De La Salle, I should say, to win the Division II state title this year. Uh, is also the 900th, the 900th win in the program's history. That's the Big Reds. They're the winningest high school program in the state. The NFL Foundation is giving $15,000 to the school to use for their football program. And Coach Fairfield, he's not left out. He gets ten grand all to himself and a couple of nice vacations. He'll have a trip to the 2024 Pro Bowl game and tickets to the Super Bowl in Las Vegas. Holland Hospital offering two scholarships to area high school and college students that are interested in pursuing careers in health care. It's the Holland Hospital Volunteer Council Health Care Scholarship and the Holland Hospital RN Scholarship Program. Now, the Volunteer Council Scholarship, funded by hospital employees, awards up to six recipients annually and is open to students enrolled in accredited health care programs. The RN Scholarship Program supports high school seniors in the hospital's service area pursuing a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing both providing $7,000 over four years for tuition and related expenses. Now, applications for both, app, excuse me, both scholarships are open. Deadlines, February 29th and March 16th, respectively. Full eligibility criteria and application details are available online. Hey, ice cream's never a bad idea, especially when it's for a great cause. Yep, it's back. The infamous McDonald's Shamrock Shake and the Oreo Shamrock McFlurry are out today. All the Michigan restaurants will donate 25 cents from every one of those sold to the Ronald McDonald House charities across the state until March 18th. And last year, customers helped raise nearly $335,000. The Ronald McDonald Houses provide care, comfort, and support to families while their child receives medical care, all completely free of charge. Yeah, if you had a bad breakup, you may want to consider neutering your ex. <laughs> well, you, you can't really do that. But... This is the next best thing. For your $25 donation, Heaven Can Wait Animal Haven in Muskegon will name a feral cat after your ex. Now, of course, that ex will then be snipped through the TNR program and returned to their colony. Now, all the money will be used to operate the shelter. Now, they want you to know, it does take several months or more sometimes before a chosen name is used, so it might not happen in time for Valentine's Day. But there are plenty of cats out there, so they promise that name will get used.